Alright, so let's talk about the find the smallest common element in all the rules. So you are given an unbounded matrix, so for every single row is actually sorted in increasing order, it doesn't matter. And then return the smallest common element in all the rules. So let's just look at the problem. So if every single element, sorry, if there is a common element in every single row, right? Which means the size is actually what? The, fre the frequency size. The frequency size is going to be what? Math or length, right? Sorry, math or length. So look at this. Uh, the common element is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, so which is what? The size is actually math or length, which is 4, right? And the common element is 5. And so we, we definitely need a counter. So so if you look at this kind of problem, so if you say like find the smallest common element, you need a counter. It doesn't matter if you are using the hash map or using the inner array. So since the size is actually small, it's only from 1 to 10 to the 4th. So I would rather to use the inner array. And then I'm going to just say frequency, something like this, right? And the size is going to be uh, 10,001. You have to include in the index zero. The index zero is actually important. You don't you don't want to miss it. So once you keep track of the frequency, you will get a value. So let's just start coding. So I'm going to say in count. Sorry, in free, new int, uh, 10,001. And then you if you cannot find it, you return negative one, right? And then I'm going to traverse the mat. Now and then for every single in array, in inside the m, I need to traverse the value, right? And then I will just keep uh, increment my val, right? So at some point, my frequency for the current value is actually equal to the method length, right? Which is equal to what? The size of the rules, right? And then you will definitely know, okay, I have to return val. So this is a, a simple solution and um, yeah. So let's talk about the time and space. The space is this, 10,001, the time. All of m times n, right? All of m times n, and I cannot use the debug mode because if I use it, I will definitely print out the frequency array. Like every single element inside the frequency array is what ten thousand one. So on the left side window of the debug mode is actually what is pretty, uh, it's pretty dirty. To be honest. So if you don't believe it, then just you know take a look. All right. So this is not how you look, right? So uh, the idea is what you increment the counter based on the value when you traverse the mat. And then when there is a size, which is equal to, uh, when there is a value, uh, the size of value is actually equal to, is actually equal to the method length, that you return the value. So this is an entire solution, and if you cannot find it, then you have to return negative one. All right, so if you have any question, leave a comment below, subscribe if you want it. All right, peace out, bye.